So you want a 50 cal, but you want it to be an energy weapon. Well, we got just a weapon for you today. Welcome back to the Wasteland. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Gauss Rifle and the unique version of the Gauss Rifle. The Gauss Rifle has appeared in multiple Fallout games as of right now. I think it's appeared in every single Fallout game besides the very first one. It was in Fallout 2, it's in Fallout Tactics, there's actually multiple versions of it in Fallout Tactics, or at least multiple Gauss weapons. It was in Fallout 3, at least as a DLC weapon, it's in New Vegas, and it's also in 4. It should also probably be in 76, I would imagine. So, the Gauss Rifle is the big bad sniper rifle for energy weapons. And some might argue this to be the best sniper rifle in the entire game, because it is quite strong. The only people that actually have Gauss rifles are generally the Brotherhood and the trauma suits that you can find in Big Mountain. And the trauma suits will only have these, I think, once you're level 20 to 30, uh, or higher than that. And the Gauss rifle is a very scary weapon when it's being wielded at you or when you're wielding it. The Gauss rifle is also an extremely rare weapon, so you're probably going to have to buy this or take it off of somebody that has it. The Gauss Rifle requires 75 energy weapons and 5 strength to wield, which is actually not very high requirements for one of the most powerful weapons in the game. I would think that the Gauss Rifle should have 100 energy weapons to use it, but it just doesn't, so that's pretty cool. And 5 strength is very manageable on just about any character. Technically, that's a little bit high for energy weapons, but not by that much. Especially if you're counting the heavy energy weapons, then it's really not super high. This does 120 damage on shot, so quite a lot of damage. It says it has 360 damage per second, however, this is a little bit unlikely, because once you fire the Gauss Rifle, you will have to reload it immediately afterwards. So you will have to go through the full reload animation in order to shoot this, which makes it so its DPS is likely a little bit less than this. It's not that much less, at least in terms of the rate of fire, than something like the anti-material rifle though, where that also has a very slow bolt cycle. This does 60 crit damage on hit. This is one of those weapons that weirdly enough has half the crit damage as it does regular damage. I don't know why that is. Granted, if it had 120 base damage, it would just be a straight upgrade from something like the anti-material rifle in terms of just straight damage to damage comparisons. Wouldn't necessarily be the best at everything, just because of the way the weapons work and the way you might want to build your characters. But I do kind of understand lowering that. And 60 damage is still quite high for a crit. That's almost the same as the brush gun. This has a two times crit modifier. That could also be the reason why it has less crit damage because it does have a two times crit modifier. So it's more likely to hit crits than other weapons. This one costs 40 action points to use. The Gauss Rifles aren't that bad to be using in VATS, but they're also not necessarily the best. They're decent though. If you want to use them at medium range, they can still work really well. There are some other energy weapons that are better than this, but it can still work if you need to use it there. This has very low spread at 0.03. It is extremely accurate, as you would hope a weapon like this is. However, sometimes the Gauss Rifle, and I don't know if it's just me, but it seems to kind of go off from where I would think that it would hit. I'm not sure why that is, and I doubt it's because of the spread. I don't know if it's just because it's how the Gauss Rifle works, or maybe it's just because of the impact or something, that I just assume that it has more spread than it does, but it is very accurate overall. This does have a magazine of five, however, it only shoots one shot. It consumes all five cells when you fire this. So you can go through microfusion cells a little bit quick with this, although if you're just using this as your designated sniper rifle for an energy weapons build, you're probably not going to go through ammo very quickly with it. You're also probably not going to go through item health very quickly with it. This weighs 7 weight, which makes it very lightweight for how hard that it is. And this has 80 item health. Not a whole lot of item health, but since you're just firing this one shot at a time, you're probably not going to go through that health super quick, making it actually pretty decent for an energy weapon. And a lot of other energy weapons don't have very much more HP than this. Some of them have even less HP than this, and they're more like semi-auto weapons. So the Gauss Rifle is okay in that regard. For the general pros of the Gauss Rifle, this does really high damage. It, it just does. It hits extremely hard. It's one of the hardest hitting weapons in the entire game. There's very few weapons that can kind of compete for it, at least shot for shot. This has very long range as well, which is great. A lot of energy weapons do, but since this one comes with the scope, it is a little bit easier to hit at a longer range, at least in my opinion. And it also has really good ammo. The ammo is really nice for the Gauss Rifle since it takes the microfusion cells, which are shared with basically every energy weapon rifle. So if you're using plasma or if you're using laser, you can also use the Gauss Rifle with it. And even on top of that, you can make really good use of like the max cells with this since you're probably not going to be using this weapon that much. Breaking your weapon faster doesn't necessarily matter that much if you're only using this two or three times per engagement, if that, assuming that the first shot doesn't just end the engagement right there. The cons to this are that it does have a slow rate of fire. Most of the sniper rifle type weapons like this generally have a slow rate of fire, and that's to kind of even out how much damage they do per shot, so you can do really fast follow-up shots with this, 
It's not terrible to be using at close range, but it's not going to be your best option for an energy weapon. You're probably going to have to buy a Gauss rifle from the Silver Rush or from the Brotherhood since they're the most likely to sell it. You could potentially go to Old World Blues later on and take it off of the trauma harnesses. It can work really well there. And if you are taking these, these are one of the best weapons to take because they are so lightweight compared to the amount of money that you get from them, which is awesome. You could potentially kill the Brotherhood to get one of these, but that can be a little bit difficult since the Brotherhood are probably one of the strongest, if not the strongest faction in the game, at least person to person. Or you'll have to go for the unique version, which is technically locked behind a trait or not taking a trait. As for perks that can help out with the Gauss Rifle, there's no real perk that specifically helps this one out. Vats perks could kind of help it out, or Pack Rack could kind of help it out just so that you could carry more ammo. Meltdown is the major one that I would say because it allows you to use this pretty much like a grenade launcher, or like how the anti material rifle works with explosive rounds, where you can snipe something off and then potentially have this explode and deal damage to everything around it. And that works really well for clearing up small groups of enemies, enemies that don't have a whole lot of HP. So Meltdown is pretty awesome on this. It's not gonna work as well against really big enemies, but it will work really well against the medium and small enemies. As for different ammo types, we have all the regular microfusion cells. So we have the standard microfusion cells, which give you regular damage, but do have some armor breaking on them. That's pretty nice. We've got bulk cells, which reduce the damage, but break your weapon slower. I wouldn't really recommend these for the Gauss Rifle. The Gauss Rifle doesn't really need it. If you're using it as a sniper rifle, you probably want higher damage on it. The overcharged cells can be pretty good. They give you more damage, break your weapon a bit quicker, but give you more armor penetration, so that's nice. Max cells are really nice with this since it gives you a lot more damage, breaks your weapon a lot quicker, but gives you even more armor piercing. So these ones are fantastic to be loading in the Gauss Rifle. And then you also have the Optimized Cells, which is usually the ones that I use the most. These ones give you a little bit more damage, don't break your weapon quite as fast as the Overcharged Cells, and give you good armor pen. These ones are really nice as general purpose ones. Usually I'll try to use these in whatever main energy weapon I'm using, like whether it be the Laser Rifle or the LAER, whatever it might be. And then I'll switch to the Max Cells to put into my Gauss Rifles, so that way I do a whole bunch of damage with it. The Gauss Rifle is a very solid weapon. And for an overall rating on my tier list, I'd put the Gauss Rifle all the way up into S tier. Just the regular Gauss Rifle is really good. It's basically the 50 cal for energy weapons, and it feels very much like that. It is fantastic to use. I love carrying this around on my energy weapon characters, and I've just never really been disappointed in the Gauss Rifle. It also has just a really satisfying sound to it once you hit something with it. Let's move over to the unique version of the Gauss Rifle, which is called the YACS-186 Gauss Rifle. Now this one is a little bit different than a regular Gauss Rifle, both in terms of look and feel. This one is related to a trait though. This one is related to the Wild Wasteland trait. And if you take the Wild Wasteland trait, then this locks you out of getting the YCS 186 Gauss Rifle, unless you want to spawn it in with commands. In which case, then you could, but at that point you can spawn in anything with commands. The reason why this is locked out is because once you take Wild Wasteland, then the area where the Alien Blaster is, is, well, where the aliens are. So you can kill the aliens and get the Alien Blaster, but if you don't have Wild Wasteland, then that encounter does not happen in the Wasteland. Then it is just a group of mercenaries up at the north part of the map, and one of them has the YCS-186, which makes that particular mercenary very dangerous. Um, that can kill you very quick. Gauss rifles by themselves can kill you quick, and the unique one does even more damage. So this one requires 75 energy weapons and 5 strength to wield, same as a regular Gauss rifle. This one does 140 damage per shot, so 20 more damage than a regular Gauss rifle. This one does 420 DPS, although again the DPS is probably lower in terms of practical use because you do have to reload this each time that you shoot it. This one has 70 crit damage, which is as much as a brush gun, so that's quite high. This one has a 2x crit modifier, more likely to hit crits, still costs 40 action points. This one has slightly better spread, but only slightly, where it has 0.0275 spread. Okay, it's about the same accuracy as the 0.03 that the regular Gauss Rifle has. I don't know why they decided to make it so specific for this one. This one only holds 4 rounds in the magazine, so this one is more ammo efficient than a regular Gauss Rifle where usually it will be taking five cells, this one only takes four, so your microfusion cells will go even further with this one, which is pretty nice. This one does weigh one additional weight at eight weight, which still isn't very heavy, that's not a big deal at all. And this one does have more item health than a regular Gauss Rifle at 100 even. Overall, the YCS-186 is just all around a better Gauss Rifle, and so long as you don't have a problem with 
well, just really wanting to take Wild Wasteland, then you can get it, and it's a fantastic weapon. So this one is also going to go all the way up into S tier. <laughs> However, if you do like all the different wacky things that you can get with Wild Wasteland, by all means take that, and then you can take just a regular Gauss rifle as your go-to energy sniper, and it's also going to be really good. Energy weapons don't have a whole bunch of snipers. The Gauss rifle is one of them. I guess the laser rifle with a scope on it could be, which... Yeah, that's pretty good too, and of course the hollow rifle is a fantastic weapon as well, but the Gauss rifle is a really, really cool weapon. Tell me your thoughts on the Gauss rifle and its unique variant down in the comments below. This one has been requested quite a bit. I do understand why it is one of the coolest weapons in Fallout's history, I would say. It's been cool in basically every game, even though it's changed a lot throughout the games. Gauss rifle has been a very solid weapon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so very much for watching it. I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye, everyone.